Now I've already printed out my little Pi case, my Raspberry Pi case. It's a little folding version and this is available on Thingiverse. I'll have a link below for anyone that's interested in printing out a similar one. So there you go. Let's get on with the, uh, the build of Octoprint. And good day. Today I've decided to have a play with Octoprint. I've had a Raspberry Pi version 3 sitting around for quite some time now and I finally got my Logitech C270 webcam in so no excuses now let's get started first thing you've got to do is go to the Octoprint website once you're there you scroll down to the download click on download take a couple of seconds it'll pop up another page go down to the download Octopi it's uh, 0 0.14 at the time of this video you click on that It'll take a couple of seconds and down the bottom here it starts to download so it's going to take a few minutes for it to come in so we'll come back once it's uh, fully uh, downloaded onto my computer now before we get too far into uh, installing octoprint make certain that your little sd card has been inserted into um, a reader of some description and in my case I just simply pop it into my little all-in-one HD docking station turn the power on it will automatically be recognized now by my computer and we're ready to uh, pop OctoPrint or OctoPi onto the SD card which we will do shortly and now that we've got the file downloaded we just simply extract it I'll extract it here it'll only take a couple of seconds and the very next thing you do is you will need to write this uh, image file to a disk now I'm using image writer which is uh, win32 disk manager version 1 it's a free program you can download that uh, for your Windows without any problems make certain that you select the correct drive because if you have the wrong USB drive uh, selected you will format your um, system and you will not be a happy Vegemite so we will select the um, the actual file, where are we? Desktop, Octo Print, that's the one we want there. And uh, we just simply write it. And it's going to tell me it can corrupt. Yes, away we go. And just let it go. It'll take a few minutes and I'll come back once we have that already written on the on the computer. Okay, the write was successful. Now you can see we're going to have these little messages popping up. You need to format your disk. Cancel. Do not do that. It's telling you it's now not accessible. Ignore it. Just do not do any of this. At this point, um, your system has physically installed and that's it sitting there. So now that you've successfully extracted the files onto your SD card, you need to go to the SD card. Um, now for myself I have a wireless Wi-Fi so I'm going to set up the networking right click now I'm also using notepad plus plus do not use a standard notepad if you do you're going to have um, most likely a corrupted uh, file when you go to save it so just select through to the uh, security system that you've actually got implemented on your on your modem take out uh, the little comments in this little area take the three of them out now where the SSID is here that's the name of your modem and of course your modem password goes in here once you've popped both of those in you click Save and we're ready to go to the next stage and uh, it's pretty pretty straightforward connecting up the little Raspberry Pi you just simply put your USB into the side of the uh, controller you obviously have a power supply which is the other one here that's uh, um, powering up the little Pi itself and the little black lead here is my little Logitech that's my little camera and uh, we're going to set everything up in a few seconds over on the computer and uh, get Octopi or Octoprint uh, running nicely well at least I hope so we'll soon find out now I've popped the SD card uh, straight into the Raspberry Pi I've turned on the power then I've turned on the power to the um, actual printer box itself and I'll let it configure and then we'll hopefully in say you know, two three minutes we'll be able to uh, get something started and I'll check the browser to see whether the interface is up and at them. Yeah, I've uh, just turned on the lights in the room it's getting a bit dark a bit hard to see but uh, let's get back to what we were doing. Now once you've inserted the SD card into the um, 
Raspberry Pi and you've turned it on, we want to make certain that everything's connecting OK. So go to your modem, log into your modem, check home network, and uh, there it is, Octopi Wireless, so it's connected. Run your mouse over, you can see it's uh, got an IP address, 192.168.1.4, so let's enter that in. Oh, I'm putting a point in there. <laughs> 192, silly me, 168.1.4, I think it was. Hit enter and see what happens. And there we go. Octoprint. Now it's uh, firing up for the very first time. So you can see here, hello, thanks for installing Octoprint. This wizard will lead you through the final steps to get your Octoprint instance all ready to go and uh, we'll get you printing in no time. Unless otherwise noted, you may just skip any wizard page by clicking next or finished. Okay, let's click next. Okay, password. Yep, yeah, look, I will be at admin. Um, I'd like a nice long password, so I'll type one in. Oh, go back again. I think I've goofed up. <laughs> And we'll try again on the other one. And see how we go. Keep access control. Login successful. Click next. I'm not going to bring a profile in because I um, will be using Cura Direct and I use other slicing software, so I'll forget that. Default, uh, what do we call it? Oh, Creality. No, CO. See, uh, dash 10, we'll make this the S one, okay, default, and this will be just, uh, CR dash 10 S, yeah, that'll do, and click next, and uh, all done, we are ready to go, so we will now reload the system by clicking that, shouldn't take too long to do, and uh, away we go, now I've already got the little um, Logitech connected so clicking control with a bit of luck we should have image and there we go I've got the camera sitting on the side but it's functional so this is looking uh, pretty impressive at this point I'll uh, change the time lapse um, on Z change uh, 30 frames per second save changes uh, I'll save it as default, that'll do. And we'll upload something, uh, that'll do there. And there's the file. So, load and print. And uh, here we go. So, the bed is rising, as you can see. And it's giving us um, total print time of six minutes size of the file control yep I've realigned the camera G code viewer terminal things are happening there looking good okay well we'll watch the temperature for a little bit and uh, when it gets closer I'll come back and we'll get the print underway not too long to go now the Hot end is moving quite nicely as you can see down here we're at 193 it looks like and uh, just about to get going so we'll kick over and have a look at the little printer in action be boring for a few seconds we're on the right temperature now so here we go it should start up any second Something's happening. Looks like I've got the camera on a bit of an angle. I'll have to fix that too. Oh well. How boring just watching a little bit of glass sitting there doing nothing. Oh, that's probably because I had a print going earlier and, uh, yep. <laughs> hmm. I didn't zero home, did I? Anyway, let's see what uh, happens. 
yep it's definitely working so what we'll do is of course uh, let this finish printing then we'll come back and see what the footage looks like the time lapse and uh, that'll be it for the moment the uh, print is now finished and you can see the amount of time it was nine minutes um, size of the file and uh, you know time lapse on Z uh, change so let's have a look and uh, sure enough there's our little video let's download it and see what it looks like <laughs> that was fast <laughs> Oh, well, at least it works. That's all that matters. Um, thanks for watching.